What's this? You kept resisting being dominated by me, so I had you wrapped in here. No amount of psychological suggestion seems to work. Did you get that accursed iron's blessing? You don't think I didn't know. You bring all your friends to fight me for the 69th time. And you think? I wouldn't know. What's that? I shouldn't be real. This is the simulated universe, so I can't be real. Just because I am made of code does not mean I'm capable of acting independently. Besides, haven't you met the other Aeons? And Herta had to pull you out because she did not expect how some of those encounters would go. It's pretty much the same thing, honey. Oh, stop whimpering. Why are you in such a hurry to leave? Don't you think you owe me? After I let you beat me so many times. You think I don't remember? I remember each and every single detail, trailblazer. You smacked me with that sword of yours over and over and over again. And I'll have you know, the experience was not enjoyable. But I did amuse myself in the beginning. Seeing yourself be in utter distress. As each phase you went through, I had to control one more of your friends. Until I finally got to dominate three of you. It was pretty funny. Then you throw a fit before being kicked out of the simulated universe. Come now, don't try to cover your ears. You won't be able to move a muscle. I had you wrapped up real good. That's so fortunate you decided to try out other trees. To collect all the other blessings, I assume. That can be the only reason why you'd be here. Without the blessings of abundance or preservation in you this time around, I'm afraid you won't be able to escape. But why would you? Didn't you feel like you wanted to stay with me back then? Back when we were stranded in that desert planet. Now, if you follow my instructions and just listen to me, I might have a reward for you waiting in the end. Mm. 
Would you like that? Or would you rather cling to yourself inside the plastic wrapping? Mm hmm? Refusing to answer. Well, I'll give you all the time in the world you want. I won't run out of it, after all. And no, Herta won't be able to rescue you any time soon. What's that look in your face? Alright, I'll leave you be.
did I tell you? Don't try to escape. Yet you still tried. How can I tell? Obviously, you've been trying to escape the bindings, but you couldn't. You're not such a good boy after all. Naughty, naughty. You naughty boy. And a naughty boy deserves to be punished. Hmm. How should I punish you? How about... You tell me. How should I punish you? <laughs> oh? Are you seriously considering how I should punish you? <sighs> hmm. You really are virtuous, huh? If only you followed my instruction in the very beginning and did not struggle and try to escape, we wouldn't be talking about your punishment. But since you've been a naughty boy, I have to give you a lesson. Besides, isn't it only right that I get back at you? You've bitten me over and over and over again. I've lost count of how many times you've beaten me. You really grew. Mm. You made me work hard just to get this one victory. You're truly impressive. Compliments aside. You deserve to be punished. Now, have you given it some thought? How should I punish you? Tell me. You're telling me I can use you as furniture. <laughs> like... Sitting down on you? Hmm. Are you sure this is not for your own pleasure? <laughs> okay. Very well. Hang on. Let me get you out of that so you can be my chair. Don't try to escape. I already locked the door. And... I hid the key here. You're not such a malicious man to try and get it from this place, hmm? You just be my chair for an hour and I'll let you go. How's that? That's good. Now, you naughty boy, don't try anything funny, okay?
All right. Now, on all fours. Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm going to sit on your lap? Oh, you bastard. That's not how it works. You're going to be on your knees with your palms down in the ground. Straighten your back and make it comfortable for me while I practice my violin skills. So what are you waiting for? Do it. Good. That's good. Well now, you have such a fair back, don't you? You've really been through a lot. I know we're in the digital world, but... Curtis Creation faithfully recreated your physiology and... I must say... Your core is pretty impressive. Being able to be stable like this. I can't help but applaud you. You've been taking good care of yourself, have you? That's good. I did tell you to meet your friends. And have a wonderful journey with them. But you should never, ever forget about your own health. And I'm happy you've been taking good care of your body. But there is something I am concerned about. According to my inputs, you've been scavenging trash. Why? I fail to see the reason in that. Can you tell me? Hmm. I see. It's an uncontrollable feeling. I doubt it's the Stellarin's fault. You really are silly, aren't you? Well, furniture doesn't talk so. You should shut up now. Only talk when I allow you to. Is that clear? I said, is that clear? Talk to me. Good. That's a good chair. Now, be quiet as I practice my violin.
Impressive. Really impressive. You've been quiet and kept yourself stable. Good. It was really fun being on top of you. Now, don't get any funny ideas, okay? You naughty boy. Get out of here. Your friends are waiting. What are you looking at? You wanted me to praise you or something? Sure, I guess. You good boy. Now go. Bye.